Welcome back to 4WFR. Today we're going to show you how to change the hydraulic oil filters on a John Deere 7800. I said I'm done now and I hit the road It's been years since I've been home Going back home where I was born and raised Raymond, Mississippi, I'm on my way Here's my drain plug right there Got fluid all over it because it's leaking everywhere. Got fluid leaking over there, over here, over here, like over here. It's a lot of leaking. Right here, right here. It's running down yeah, here somewhere it and it's, it's collecting here. I don't know, maybe if it's running, I can see Ooh, maybe dude. where it's, it's on the bottom of this. Maybe it's one of these lines just shooting it over here. That would be ideal. <laughs> yeah, if it was one of these lines just shooting it over there, that'd be perfect. Estimate of a something like this. See what it was. Three quarter. That's it. There you go. This way looks like. Let's see where these are ready to go. No, let's see. In my mind, right here. I'm just gonna get stuff everywhere now. I'm gonna move. Try to put this thing back up. Uh, at any point, whether you're going all out. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. It almost went in there. Oh, did? Yeah. You got to watch that. got a filter over here. Another filter that's under here. I'll put the camera on the other side. Oh, you got me being the dang cameraman. He had to go to the store. There's those things I was looking for right there. Pliers. They were sitting on the ground. Put a little curled oil on them. The other filter is, where'd it go? No. Right there. And this needs to be loosened. Yes. It ain't come towards you with it. Correct. I'm not, coming in that way, I'm not gonna be able to with this big old thing. Well, maybe. Yeah, I got something better in my hand on it now. Well, I know, but you didn't think you were having enough room. There you go. Look good. good shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, can't we have too close to the action? <laughs> too close to the action. All right, watch out. I don't know where it's going to go. I ain't going to catch her down here. So. Oh, right. It's going to be full of fluid. up your thing it's getting on your it don't matter okay it's too far gone now anyway make sure the whole ring came on it's there it's right there yep yeah, what there. is that oh, oh, it's just dirt on outside there. from outside there are all these other leaks everywhere usually as you can see this is a napa filter 
usually it's cheaper but uh called john deere they were actually cheaper so we went with the john deere filter <clears throat> that usually seldom happens You can grab the filter, you're gonna go ahead and put it on and grab them. We'll let them sit and just sit here okay. for a little while. That other one might not be dripping back up that way anywhere anymore at all. The filter where the filter was. I Barely. I see, I just saw a drop. I, I mean, I didn't see one. any. Uh, there's a little milky looking stuff there, but that's because it's already mm -hmm. touched some dirt stuff, probably. Let me catch one because it falls. Of course, then I could go pour a bucket out and see if it was milky. And then I remember there was that bucket was full of water already. <laughs> so of course, it's gonna be milky. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, something that's milky. Well, of course, it's gonna be milky. The other wrench I was using. Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter for the front well, reservoir, the back. back reservoir. Where the, oh. oh, that's right. Three quarters of the front reservoir. Well, three quarter on the, uh, what I'm calling the transmission area. And then inch and a quarter, what I'm calling the rear back there where the, underneath the PTO. Don't know the proper terminology. <laughs> Covered it up my little arm. There it went. Yep. Not milky looking at all? Mm-mm. It's a good thing though. We're changing it out because when we were mixing the other day we had the pto running we noticed some smoke coming out of the where you put in the hydraulic fluid up there up top yeah, right up here. i got the cover off right now to give plenty of flow but um we noticed that it looked like smoke coming out from around it so we after cutting the tractor off and calling a few people we realized that uh it might have been moisture or something burning off so that's what we thought it was we talked to a mechanic and our daddy was a little more mechanically inclined than i am so he would be able to probably know exactly what was going on but i had to call somebody but um anyway we called and he said sounds like so we started running again then we got to watching the sight glass and noticing it looked a little bit milky when the when it was pto was running mm -hmm. so that's why we didn't figure we had a little moisture in there so, but it wasn't milky really. You couldn't really see the obvious milky oil. So what we're gonna do is just change both filters, drain everything out. Let's see what happens. And um, we got us a new, uh, Jacob just went to John Deere place right here in Bolton called Ag Up. And then uh, got us a new sight glass. Ours was leaking real bad around it. He, he points the camera straight up right there. He can show you the underneath. Where it, when you look underneath, you see where it's been dropping. Anyways, we're gonna figure out how to put that thing in. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Let's well, be right, lined up perfectly. proper specifications on the tightener but it's not gonna be much with this big old thing. Oop, wrong size now. Oh, size. Change it on some new ones. Everything gets cheaper and smaller. <clears throat> Bruce, you see this new set, trust me, we usually didn't have this. 
I got tired of looking for everything. Oh, one size bigger than a 5 eighths or 11 sixteenths. The three quarter. Probably should use this big of a ratchet. Don't have much feel that way. Let's see if I can get a three quarter and a smaller ratchet. I can get a little bit better feel. I don't, want, I don't know if I'm gonna have a three quarter. It's gonna be that little bitty baby thing. Yeah, that's it. Dang, boys are there good, ain't they? Not for that one, but this one's a little smaller. Here we go. It, it, it get dusty a little snug. I'm just going to lay it right there, that little snugness. Make that make sense. <laughs> little snugness. Little snugness. It's all on feel. Daddy used to always get on to me. As he said, I'd always over tighten everything. So I'm trying to learn not to over tighten everything. Now I'm the one having to do all the tightening. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my finger. Mom and Daddy always taught me to do it. Rub it on this right here. There's a rubber seal here, gasket, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I'm not much of a terminology man here. All right, make sure the other one's not there, which is not, because I saw it come off earlier. And we're gonna stick it on. If I can get it stare wet. I think that's good enough. I get crazy, crazy tight. I don't think you need to. You do a good hand tightening. Pretty, pretty stout hand tight, not crazy hand tight. Getting too fat for all this. They lose some weight. All right, try not to hit anything. Get any dirt in there. Take it right up in there. There we go. That's the least they could have done on the bottom of that thing as hard yeah. of a spot they put it for us. Let me, get, let me wedge myself up in here. Tighten this thing up. That's tight enough. Find me a good situation here. You want to start it sideways and turn it over. That way it won't go bloop, bloop, bloop. Well, supposedly. We got both plugs and both filters in, right? I think so. I need to... I'm about to watch this glass a little bit now. Just filled it up. I think we're gonna crank it up. Lift these lift arms up, run it for a minute, run it for a little bit. Everything fill back up where it needs to fill up, and then see if we need to put some more in there. Just cranked the tractor in it for a bit. Lifted the uh, three-point hitch. Ran the PTO for a little bit. So I could fill up those lines and the filters. 
Now we have a little bit more to put in. How much more? Yeah. All right, so there you have it. That is changing the hydraulic oil and filters on a John Deere 7800. Hope that it helps.